Welcome to Tower Gardening Made Easy, and I'm Sherry. If you're new here, be sure to tap that button below and continue to grow our community. Well, I want to welcome you to part three of our tomato series, where we take from clone to tower to fruit in six weeks total. So stay tuned. Guys, welcome back. So we're going to go and we're going to review the videos that we've done thus far on the tomato series. So the first one, and I'm gonna post this right here, was Clone It Like Heaven, where I taught you how to take a simple sucker of an existing plant or tower, put it into rock wall, leaving it in your nursery for a few days, maybe even a week, and then go ahead and planting it into a new tower or new section of a tower that you have. Then what we did is two weeks later, something magical happened. Flowers appeared very, very quickly. So now it has been four weeks since those flowers opened, pollinated, and now we actually have clusters of fruit. So from April 11th, and today is May 30th, so it's about six weeks, I have clusters of cherry tomatoes that are still green, but give them a few weeks and they're going to be ripe. So that'll be probably part four. So you want to stay tuned. So what I want to do now is I'm going to turn the camera I want you guys to check out what's going on, the four weeks worth of growth. And I'm also going to add a little time lapse in here. But as I go, I'm going to be sure to be posting the videos and I'm also going to put them in the description and then I'm going to do one better. I've created a, a playlist of all of the tomato videos, including the upskirt, which is so, so important, guys. Whether you pollinate with a fan or you pollinate with an electric toothbrush, you need to do it if you're indoors. If you're outdoors, Mother Nature will do it for you. So let's go ahead and check out the tower. All right, so what you're looking here is the cloned tower that I grew, and it's on a home. Now, these clones that we put into Rockwall came from my existing tomato tower, which is a flex. And I decided to keep it and just prune it back. And I did that actually a couple of weeks ago. And it's back to being really um, very, very full. And that's okay. I'll get in there soon and give it a haircut. But back to the cloned. So as you can see, and I'm again, I'm going to post some pictures as to where we started on April 11th to where we are now, which is a short six weeks and how full this tower is. Now, I just want to give you a little bit of the nutrients and the EC that's on the tower. So if you decide to do this, um, you'll have the correct uh, information. So I keep the pH on the tomatoes at 6.0. And I also keep the EC when they were very young. I kept it at about 1.8 to 2. And now that it's a little bit more mature and I've got fruit that's ripening, the, um, the EC now is about 3. The range is between two and five on the EC and the range on the pH is between 5.5 and 6.5. Now, if you want to download this, you can go to my website, towergardeningmadeeasy.com, go under the Nutrient School. It's a free PDF that you can download and you'll get those exact, basically they're like coordinates. So let's get up close now so you guys can actually see what six weeks worth of growth has done. So let's start right here at the top. I mean, look at this beautiful cluster. Now, I haven't done anything other than just, you know, like I said, with the pH and the EC, I did some self-pollinating. I don't even think I put a fan on this. I really didn't. I think I just used, you know, my electric toothbrush and I went over there and I just buzzed those little flowers in there. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you because in that playlist, you're going to see that upskirting video. And it's really important. If you don't self-pollinate your tomatoes, they're not going to fruit. And it takes two seconds to do it. I'm just looking for the toothbrush. Bear with me. So this little guy, it's kind of nasty. It's kind of dirty. All you do is you can see me. There's one little flower right there. All you have to do is just tap it. And then all of a sudden, there's a huge release. It looks like baby powder. And it's pollinated. And the next thing you know, you have a cluster of tomatoes. I do it once a day. I don't need to do it any more than that. Um, they grow like a weed. And this particular variety is in my favorite seed section on my website, TowerGardenMadeEasy.com, um, under the favorite seeds. And you can go ahead and purchase it on Amazon and you can start it there if you don't have this variety. If you do, I highly suggest um, cloning it. I'm never going to be doing from seed again. It was a waste of time. 
And um, the other shortcut that you could do right now, if you want to look at this video, uh, and again, I can post it right here, is um, basically how to take a soil-based cherry tomato and turn it into a hydroponic, aeroponic uh, plant that you can put right into your tower. So here's another lovely little cluster right here, and you can see a flower right there. So I haven't pollinated this yet as of today. So why don't I just get in here since we're on camera and I just, it takes two seconds to do this and I just go ahead. I don't like to touch the tomato plant because it's kind of oily. So I kind of get in here with my brush and I just kind of move the leaves around and make sure that they're pollinated. And um, well, we got some over here and you'll know, like they'll, they'll stop releasing powder when they're pollinated. But um, let's go over here. So there, there's so many clusters, guys. I mean, look at this right here. Beautiful. All up in there. And then up on top here. I've got some beautiful branches down on the bottom right there with some flowers and some fruit. The other thing I'm doing is I have one of the time-lapse cameras on this tower to kind of catalog the growth. And so I'm going to put this into the video if you guys want to watch that. So, and that's right there. There's a the camera and it's watching this cluster. And I keep actually pruning some of the leaves back so that the, um, the time-lapse can uh, capture the growth. And then, so now you can see that these are pretty much the size that they need to be. And then, you know, so now they're going to start to turn and eventually they'll look like these guys, which is my existing old tower full of tomatoes. Well, here's some reds down here. I mean, they're just, every time I think I'm running out of tomatoes, I go, I'm not, I'm not. They're just everywhere in here. And they're so delicious, guys. So delicious. I mean, it's just amazing that we've gone through from April 11th until today, which is May 30th, the growth of this tower. And I think I haven't really pruned it back. I think I may have done a few little things here and there. Um, but, uh, not much. I think it was more of the pruning around the camera because I really wanted to get some good footage. Okay. So be sure to stay to the end so you can watch that time-lapse because it is really kind of cool to see it from a little stage, you know, to where it is right now. And again, there'll be one more part in the series where the fruit is mature on this tower. We know on the existing tower that I, I harvest on pretty much every single day, whether for sauces or for salads. It's delicious and it's not going anywhere. And I keep a good eye on it in terms of the bottom and the nutrients. And it's just, she's old, but she's lovely. And um, the, the fruit is, is very ripe. So remember, six weeks, clone to fruit. You can do it too. So let's go watch that time-lapse now. 